Hello guys, I am Flash Izzy. Today, I'll be taking you through pH scale and calculations. Remember that according to Arrhenius, an acid is any substance which when dissolved in water produces hydrogen ion, H+. Meanwhile, base is a substance which when dissolved in water produces hydroxy ion, O-, while acid, H+. According to Bronsted and Lowry, Acids are proton donor. Meanwhile, bases are proton acceptor. How about salts? Salt is any compound formed when parts or all of the replaceable hydrogen ion in an acid is replaced by a metal. Remember, acids have hydrogen ions. So if and sometimes the, uh, some of them may be replaceable, while in some cases all the hydrogen ions can be replaceable. To form a neutral salt. So once this hydrogen ion of an acid is being replaced by a metal, it forms a salt. What about pH? pH is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. How acidic or alkaline a solution is is what the pH concepts explain. You may be wondering, what does pH mean? What is the full meaning of pH? pH stands for power of hydrogen. Or potential of hydrogen. What does it imply? It means that pH studies or measures the concentration of hydrogen ion in a solution. Remember, ion is an atom or group of atoms that possesses electric charge. So H plus is positively charged. It is an ion. OH is negative. It possesses a charge. It is an ion. That is what ion is about. Now, we have pH scale of 14. This is it. From here to here. This is 0, this is 14. So, in this region, we have acidity. Acidity increases. This is 7. Here, we have basis, uh, base or basicity. If I am correct, I will check that spelling out. It increases. This is 7. Here is neutral. So, a solution with pH of 7 is not an acid and it is not a base, it is simply neutral. What is an example of a neutral solution? Water. Water is simply neutral. It is not acidic, it is not basic. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now, acidity increases this way. What does it mean? If you have solution A and solution B, solution B is let's say the uh, pH is 6. Solution A, let's say the pH is 2. Solution A is more acidic than solution B because pH acidity increases this way. Solution, if this C has pH 1, it is more acidic than solution B. Meanwhile, this way, if you have A, B, if B is, if A is 8 and B is 12, solution B is more basic than solution A because basicity increases this way. Now, if you have A and B, solution A with pH 2, B with pH 8, and you are asked, which of the solution has a higher pH? B has a higher pH. You follow the number. Now, if you are asked, which of the following is true? One, it is actually true that A is more acidic than B. It is also true that B is more basic than A. For the purpose of calculation, pH is the negative log reading of hydrogen ion. Negative log of hydrogen ion. Ion. That is pH. 
So now that we have the PH skill, PH basics, we've talked about acid basics and salts. Let's see how calculations come under the concept of PH. Let's solve one or two problems. PH on the concept of uh, PH was first used or coined or discovered by Soren Peter Lawrence Sorensen. And note that pH is negative log of hydrogen ion or minus log of H plus POH power of hydrogen ion is equal to negative log of hydrogen ion OH minus pH plus POH is equal to 14. So if you are given the POH of a solution and you are asked to look for the pH, pH is simply 14 minus the POH you are given. And H plus times OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of 14. So take note of these formulas because you may need them for calculation. Look at question number one. It says find the hydrogen ion concentration H plus and pH of 0 0.01 mole per dm cube of HCl. Remember from here, pH is negative log of hydrogen ion. Now, are we given the hydrogen ion H plus? No. Are we given the pH? No. That is what we are looking for. We are looking for the hydrogen ion and we are looking for the pH. And we are told that we have a solution of 0 .00, 0 0.01 mole per dm cube of HCl. This means HCl dissociates, right? So if you have HCl, this can break down to give you, let's say, H plus plus Cl minus. True or false? True. H plus and Cl minus give us Cl minus. So, this is one mole, this is one mole, and this is one mole. What does this imply? It means that one mole of HCl will give us one mole of H plus. True or false? True. If that is correct, then 0 0.01 mole per dm cube of HCl will give us how many moles of H plus? Question. From this balance equation, one mole of HCl gives us one mole of H plus and one mole of Cl minus. So if one mole of HCl is equal to one mole of H plus, we are told that 0 0.01 mole of HCl reacted, which means 0 0.01 mole of HCl, let it be S, cross multiplying, 1 HCl times quotient is equal to 0 0.01 times one mole of H plus. Question mark is simply equals 0 0.01 times one all over one, which is equal to 0 0.01. What is question mark? Question mark is simply H plus. That is gotten from 0 0.01 mole per dm cube of HCl. So we've solved H plus and it simply equals 0, 1. How about pH? pH is equals minus log of H plus. This is equals minus log 0 0.01, which will give you 2. Yeah, I guess. That is the answer. And for the second question, find the pH of a solution with hydrogen ion concentration of 1.00 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Take a look at this shortcut. Anytime you are given one point something times 10 to the power of minus anything, any value that is here is the pH. So the pH here is 3. So long here is 1. Take the pH as the power. Plus, that is 3. What if it were 1.7 times 10 to the power of minus 3? In this case, the pH will simply be minus log 1.7 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Or, to avoid confusion, in this case, H plus is equals 
1.00 centimeters bar of minus 3. pH is simply minus log pH plus. pH is equal to minus log 1.00 centimeters bar of minus 3 is equal 3. So take note of that and take note of these formulas in case you have questions that require it. So that is it for today. I'll release more uh, videos on pH calculations. For now, have a wonderful day and check out my previous videos. A subscription to this channel will be amazing.